It's a sunny and warm Sunday afternoon, and welcome to another edition of Settlers TV. I'm your host, Mike Koizumi, and I'm going to be bringing you live play-by-play -play commentary and analysis of your favorite game, Settlers of Catan. We're here, as usual, at PlayCatan.com, where you can sign up for a free account to play Catan online. And today we'll be following Oregon Joe, my good friend, housemate, and bitter rival in Settlers of Catan. Going to take a moment to move the island lower for your viewing pleasure. And now that the game is underway, Joe has orange and is about to place his first settlement. But let's take some time to look over the board to see how the resources are faring today. Brick looks like it's going to be a plentiful resources with the 8 and 6. Red is getting impatient at Joe's slow play. And we'll look at Wood. Wood has a strong 8 in the bottom right hand corner. And a decent resource production in a 4 and a 3. Moving on to Wheat. Wheat has decent resources in a 10 and a 5, not as strong as the other resources. And Sheep looks pretty good at a solid 6 in the south, followed by 5, 9, and 4. It looks like Rock is going to be the hardest resources resource to get. The best Rock is in the east at the 10, followed by an 11 and a 2 on the bottom left. Joe as orange has chosen first has taken the best rock which is a smart idea and one of the best the best wheat excuse me the best wheat and a pretty decent brick his next move will probably be to double up on the brick on the nine and make a port to get the sheep port so here joe is going to look to get more sheep balance out his resources and to be a huge advantage when he gets the sheep port. So as you can see, Joe has acquired the nine and the six sheep. This is really solid numbers. Six is the best sheep followed by nine. And now he's thinking about where he's gonna expand to. Will he gamble and get the nine four sheep? He has a wood in hand. He has the nine, but Red has maybe an equal chance of getting that spot. So it looks like Joe's thinking about going west. Probably going to go for the 3-1 port and double up on his best number, the sheep at 6. He's still thinking about it. And yes, he does. He's going west. Probably, possibly going for the 3-1 port. But if the 10 wheat is open, he might think to get that as well. The 5 is on the west side, the 5 sheep. It's a reach, but Joe might go for that. It looks like Joe's strategy is going to be to maximize his sheep production, use the port, and with his numbers, he'll probably have a good chance of getting largest army because he has the best rock, he has sheep, and he has wheat. Play has gone back to Joe. And we're ready for the start of the game, and we are underway. But let's take a moment to look at the other players and their setup. First, let's go to Red. Red has a very has a very strong brick production, and just like Joe going for the sheep port, is trying to go on the northwest to the brick port, thereby maximizing his resource output from his eight brick and his six brick in the middle. His wood is not that good, but it's decent at a four right next to his brick. He has pretty good wheat in the five and a three. Blocked his own brick. Oh, it looks like blue has blocked his own brick on accident. Not quite sure what that move was about. But he's taken something from the red player. Back to red's position. And resources, let's see, he has the 11 rock in the middle, not as good as the 10. The 11, you can't count on, but you can count on it rolling at least once, maybe twice in a game. He's looking to double up on the 11, so that when he hits it, he'll get 2 rock and use it for some good. 
and it looks like red is lacking in sheep so once he makes his next settlement he's gonna acquire the nine and the four sheep which is pretty good don't think red will be going for largest army because he doesn't have strong rock although he might use the brick to get his rock and get development cards but I don't think he'll outplace outpace Joe in that regard so look to red to maybe go for longest road possibly trading in brick to get largest largest army he's definitely going to want to trade in brick to get his rock for cities because he eventually will need them moving on to blue strategy and resource potential blue is on the, is in the north he has two wood resources one a four which is decent and an 11 which is a long shot but he has a six brick moving on to the lower right blue's second settlement blue has a 10 rock which is the best rock in the game followed by an eight wood which is the best wood in the game and a four sheep which is decent blue is lacking in wheat he is not going for a port so wheat's going to be a problem he won't be able to build settlements right away or go f go for development cards or cities um, just for you new players out there wheat is a very important resource to have because it allows you to build so many things so blue here is desperately trying to reach for the 10 wheat that is next to the rock in the middle so he'll have wheat uh, wheat output but blue has the best wood and the best brick so you can expect him to definitely go for longest road and he'll have no trouble reaching these new resources so blue looking to get the 10 wheat and adopt most likely a longest road strategy red who has just been blocked is looking to probably get the brick port right away maximize his building potential with brick and can decide between going for longest road or largest army by trading in brick for rock and Joe who has just received something good is most likely gonna go for the largest army with his solid placement of his settlement in the Northeast with the best rock very good wheat followed by strong sheep in the south